God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for joining us today. We are Abundant Grace Church. I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I am the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our title of the message for this week is Be a Witness. I will be reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 6 and verse 8. And I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? Then said I, Here am I, send me. My beloved, in this passage we see perhaps a hint of the triune nature of the Godhead. It is as if God the Father is inquiring of God the Son and God the Spirit as to whom other than one of them would be able to be an effective representative for them. Isaiah, in his freshly given and purified state, offers to accept commission and represent the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, as a similar call is issued to each of us today. Elsewhere in Scripture, we are told more plainly of the fullness of our call to represent God the Father. In Isaiah chapter 43 and verses 10 and 11, we read, Ye are my witnesses, saith the Lord, and my servant whom I have chosen, that ye may know and believe me, and understand that I am he. Before me there was no God formed, neither shall there be after me. I, even I, am the Lord, and beside me there is no Savior. And likewise, my beloved, God the Son called us to be a witness. And we can read that in the book of Acts, chapter 1 and verse 8. And ye shall be my witnesses unto me, both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in Samaria, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Beloved, we have a great calling as Christians. That calling is to take the gospel, the good news of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Conversely, we are not called to be witnesses of the Holy Spirit. Rather, we are called to be co-witnesses with him of Jesus Christ. In John chapter 15, verses 26 and 27, we read, But when the Comforter is come, whom I shall send unto you from the Father, even the Spirit of truth, which proceedeth from the Father, he shall testify of me, and ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. My beloved, once again, in the Gospel of John, chapter 16, verses 13 and 14 we read when he the spirit of truth is come he will guide you into all truth for he shall not speak of himself but whatsoever he shall hear that shall he speak and he will show you things to come he shall glorify me for he shall receive of mine and shall show it unto you so my beloved the holy spirit speaks to our spirit he speaks to our hearts and gives us direction gives us wisdom knowledge understanding and discernment so essentially we are co-witnesses with the holy spirit Spirit. We witness the words of Jesus Christ, the words in the New Testament, in Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, in the book of Revelation, as Jesus spoke. We are witnesses of Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit gives us the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding of the Word of God. So, my beloved, know that we are commanded to take the gospel to every creature. As Christians, we are commanded to be witnesses unto Jesus Christ, both in Jerusalem and all of Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the world. Are you willing to take the gospel, the good news of our Savior Lord Jesus Christ, to those who are lost, those that are hurting, to give them hope? I hope you are. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, thank you for the message today. Be a witness. Lord, challenge us to do what you have called us to do through your word. We desire to be your witnesses. Give us the wisdom, knowledge, understanding, and discernment that we need to represent you. Thank you, Father God, for hearing our prayer today as we pray in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, majesty, now and forever. Amen. My beloved, have a great and blessed week and know that God the Spirit is with you. Follow his voice and obey the commands of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ.